It's all good. Oh, that smelled. They don't even know what smelled. They can infer. Hi. Hello. I'm all over the Ricketts. I'm still just Brittany. Alex, I'm what's Alex. your name? I'm, I'm Alex. We're gonna go see Bo Burnham's new movie, Eighth, Eighth Grade. grade. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. What are your opinions on Eighth Grade? Um, I kept seeing trailers for it on Instagram, which is a place. And I don't know, I just thought it, it, I didn't know how big it was or how big they were marketing it. I, so I was like, whatever, Bo Burnham, you make your movie. I'm not seeing it. And then Oliver texted me, hey, you want to see 8th grade? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was very excited when you texted me to see 8th grade. I'm excited to see it. Um, I loved Bo in uh, Big Sick. I'm a big fan of Bo in his show, Zack Stone is going to be famous, which not a lot of people watch, and that's why they only got one season. Really funny show, which he wrote and directed, so I'm really hoping that this is along the same lines. I saw Bo's Make Happy stand up live, which was awesome. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a single song in this movie, so if you're into music, don't see it. <laughs> don't grade. see it. It's don't not going to happen. Grade. There's Bo no Burnham, background music, nothing. Music. I think it's going to be like a dark comedy in the sense that it's not going to be like like disturbing or anything like that. I just think that it's going to be one of those like really dry humor things where it's like you're just going to have to laugh like situationally yeah. as opposed to like the actual humor in the writing. Alex? Yes. Oh, I think what we've said so far is that we all think famous comedian Bo Burnham is funny um, and he's worked on things that we've seen and I hope this movie's good. You know what? I, I think it is going to be good because I'm very interested in the idea they're going to explore it, but God, I want nothing more to come out of this theater and just start shitting on this movie just for fun. You always shit on everything, even shit that you like. I do. Yeah, but see, the thing's gonna ha what's gonna happen is you're either gonna hate it and you're gonna love it, or you're gonna love it and you're gonna hate yeah. it. Right. Well, either way, well, we're arguing. You're gonna hate it <laughs> tonight. And you're gonna. I'm still saying the same thing. <laughs> I'm gonna between be it. very upset at you. I'm gonna be very upset at you. Okay, I'm gonna go see the movie. Uh, All right, so we just saw eighth grade. It was all right. Um, what? None of us have talked about the movie, period. Uh, but before you and me get into it, before any of that, it wasn't. I want to hear what Brittany has to say, because Brittany was at one time an eighth grade girl. I was at one time an eighth grade girl. And you girl. and me were not. Alex might have been, but you, no. I'm really glad that social media was not a thing when I was in middle school. Um, the closest thing we had to social media was AIM Messenger yeah, and um, MySpace. I don't think I was particularly cool when I was in middle school. I got made fun of a lot. Watching this, like I, I guess I related to her, but I definitely think I was a little nicer than her. Oh, she's I think a bitch. no, no, no. We're not we're not hearing from you what? first. I appreciated the situations that she was put in. I related to a lot of it. I just don't feel like I necessarily had the attitude that she had. She had a hard time. I grew up without my dad in my house. She grew up without her mom in her house. So not having a mom growing up, I think, was probably a lot harder than not having your dad or at least not having your dad full time. I feel like things like that really contribute to how you are because you're not really learning everything that I feel like a lot of other people with two parents are learning. And I feel like it makes it harder on you socially because I just feel like you just don't have enough social skills. And that's me making a generalization based off of my own experiences. But I get that. Um, I thought that the movie was done really well, but there were definitely some points where I was a little, um, I guess, bored. I feel really fucking awkward right now because yeah. I feel like I can't speak right. Um, just because I was listening to her um and like and okay for an hour and a half. Which is fine because that's how eighth grade girls talk. I'm, uh, and we said this beforehand, I'm middle ground. I really, like, I, I'm a little indifferent. I enjoyed some parts of it. I didn't enjoy some parts of it. I have a, uh, didn't enjoy it, and I really enjoyed it. Oh, I didn't so, say I didn't enjoy it. I'm middle ground. I'm neutral. I'm Switzerland. Go okay, ahead. Okay, so now, I didn't hate it, but I wouldn't even say that I'm neutral towards it. Yet that his point is, wow, growing up is hard, right? And that's it.
there's not some like big moral of the story, I don't think. I think you're just supposed to reflect and understand. On your time as like, a yes, kid, yeah. I think there are many points to this fantastic movie oh, that I want to go see. Um, I think that it says a lot of things to different people and depending who you are, I think it's, be, it, depending on who you are, this movie might say something differently to you. So I think if you're an awkward, funny eighth grader, this movie is telling you, hey, you're weird and funny and that's fantastic. Please don't be scared of that. Uh, and if you're just an asshole in eighth grade who thinks being weird and funny is weird, shut the fuck up. You're in eighth grade. Why are you being such a dick? <laughs> like, try new things. It's cool. And if you're a parent, I think, I don't know, man. Fuck. It's hard being in eighth grade right now. 2018 is like the worst year to be a kid with social media. It's just the fucking worst. See, now, I agree with all that. But I'm saying that all of these things were said so early on. It was. Right? I do agree with that. And the whole movie, we're not bringing anything new to the table. We're just doubling down on, ah, this point that I made. It's I understand that you might have gotten the point right away, but there was definitely a character arc that I'm you not didn't saying get in the first any. five minutes. In the first five minutes, I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh my God, I can't listen to this anymore. Right. But by the end of it, you know, I, I was rooting for her. I wanted right. her to, you know, to succeed and to do well. So there's definitely a character arc and, you know, you can't just be like, oh, well, I got the point right away, so I didn't need to watch the rest no, of the No, I'm not saying not that. I get that there was a character arc and I'm going to get into that. But uh, I'm also saying I was just annoyed with how heavy handed he got over and over again about the same thing. I just feel like a lot of it was repetitive. Uh, what I hate about this movie, as Oliver the Ricketts, is that there's a consistent theme in this movie, uh, and they might remind you of that theme. Uh, so they call it motifs. I'm Oliver the Ricketts. Fuck me. Wow. Tell, fuck you, Alex. Tell me how you really <laughs> feel. I know. There were things that I really liked. I like that they took somebody who I thought was totally fucking unlikable at the beginning and made me root for her by the end. Okay. The other big element that I really attach to in this movie is her and her dad. I thought mm -hmm. that was really sweet. It's hard to be an adult in a kid's life. Especially as when is you right have, now, too. Especially because, when you have no idea how to relate to them. Right. Like, no clue at all. All I kept thinking to myself when I was watching the movie is her dad should be watching her fucking YouTube videos. If her dad watched her YouTube videos, he would have a better idea of, like, what his daughter is thinking because she right. obviously doesn't relay it to him but she relays it to anonymous people because it's obviously much easier for her to be herself to people that she doesn't know than it is to be herself to the people that she does know and that's clearly a theme throughout the entire movie um but i really just kept thinking to myself oh my god dad if you just opened up your fucking eyes and read and watched her videos you would understand her a little right. bit more i think if he watched her videos he might be thinking that oh i'm it's kind of like reading her diary i want to give her her space i don't hate this movie that's the you're both treating it like i totally fucking hate this shit we rewind like nine minutes I ago when have you not came said in the car at all. yelling that this little girl who is like okay perfectly fun she's a and bitch. nice person no okay now see this there is where we fucking disagree so well they're yeah. not to like well, okay, she's supposed to be unlikable at the beginning. But that's the thing. She's supp you're supposed to feel right. her awkwardness. You're well, supposed that's... to feel her unsureness and her vulnerability. So when you feel that, you say, "Oh, oh, I'm not. I don't like that." Like you know, like that's right. that's a weird feeling they for me to have. They made it hard to watch her, and that was the point. It was hard to watch. Did you not relate to it at all? I just. Here's the thing. I work with kids and. I know a lot of kids who are like that, you know? Yeah. That's, that's real. But every single character in this fucking movie is like that. I think that was the point. Yes. I understand that awkward is normal, but it's a really hard sell for you to tell me that every single person has the same personality. You're yelling you know, and I... that can make other people feel really awkward. He's being mean to me. Receiving it to be that way, but I don't think that that's how it really is. My perception was different. Okay, so 
but then I'm saying that people are going to perceive it like I'm perceiving it. So, there you go. That's what I didn't like about the movie. Eighth graders are awkward because none of them really know what's going on and they're all looking for affirmation right. of is is this okay? What is what I'm doing okay? Which is something in the movie a lot. I'm just saying I understand what the plot of the movie was. I wish that he had gone about doing it in a different way that maybe we haven't seen so many times and he didn't repeat himself quite as much. I'm not saying that it's a even a poorly made movie or that he didn't succeed in showing me what he was trying to show me. I'm just saying that there have been other people who have shown me the same thing the same way. Right. It was like a realistic coming of age. Yes. It wasn't like Edge of 17 year. because that movie was ridiculous. As much as I loved it, people don't do stuff like that. This girl, like in the way that she like tried to talk to her crush and like tried to relate on to him to what the only real thing she knew about him is that he liked naked girls, spoiler alert, sorry, 13 year old boys like naked girls. But like, she tried to relate to him on that level because that's all she friggin' had. Right. And that's real. Rate it before anything else. Go first, Alex. I'm gonna give it anywhere from an... No, specifics. All right, I'm gonna give it an A. Okay. I'm going to actually give it a B minus. I thought it was a nice little film. I just think that I've seen it before. I'm going to give it a B plus. That's a fair grade. Yeah, I'm going to give it a B plus. I wasn't completely blown away by it, but I do, I did understand the themes, right. the motifs of the well, movie. I got it. Like I'm, I was on board and I felt, I'm, I think I genuinely felt the emotions that they wanted you to feel or that Bo wanted you to feel when you were watching it. Do you think awkward eighth graders should see this movie who who do not know all of these things that are trying to be conveyed in this movie because they haven't yes. seen as many yes um the kid that she was in love with and uh the fact that she talked to him about naked pictures of herself. yes i actually thought that was the best part of the movie it was good that, those like couple scenes like in succession that was where I was like, oh this is something that a lot of movies are afraid to do this with kids mm -hmm. this young I just thought that that I was agree. really ballsy everybody goes through it and nobody talks about it and that's the kind of stuff that I was really looking for from this movie it's so funny because I feel like such an old adult and I know I'm only 27 but I feel so old because I'm sitting here watching this and the movie and I'm going Oh my god, she should know so much better. Don't talk to this boy about naked pictures. It's not going to go where you want it to go. But then five seconds later, I was like, fuck, I totally did the same thing. And I really did. Like, yeah, it's it's like obvious, like, this is a bad move. But if you're mm -hmm. in eighth grade, you might not know. Especially because right. if you don't have friends, you're trying right. desperately to connect with people based on the little things you know about That's them. That's all I kept thinking. I was like, oh my god, the fact that this girl doesn't have somebody to tell this to, like, that made That's me so sad. That's what's doing her exactly. exactly. um, uh, I want like, to lead into that. Yeah, but, like, there were times where I'm just like, oh my god, if I had nobody to tell about this... Like, I would feel so alone. I would just feel so unsure of myself and, and unsure of what to do. I would not know how to act, and that's what happened. She did not know what to do. She did right. not know how to act because she had nobody to tell her. She was literally figuring it all out by herself. And that was when it did exactly what I wanted it to do, when she was dealing with, like, a real situation that was more than what we are always shown where, oh, this girl came to this party and she doesn't know who to talk to. Not only have I seen that done, but I've seen that done in Bo Burnham's fucking show. Uh -huh. You know, it's... But then when they decided to do this, there's a little bit of balls on that. And that's something that's real. And that's something that I want to see from a movie that promises to be like the tell-all of what it's like to be in eighth grade. Which I thought this movie did an excellent job in specifically telling or expressing what eighth grade uh, girls go through, because yeah, that's a side of it that I didn't, I don't didn't think go I through. experienced. Right. I felt so bad for her in that scenario because, again, and I'm not making this the Britney show, but I've been there. I have been in the literal, almost exact same situation. And it's exactly. not just not just for kids. That's when it starts. That's something that women have to go through exactly. forever. One thing that this movie does really well when it's not trying to be this 
you know, by the numbers coming of age story. I don't think it's by the well, numbers. Well, hold on, hold on, because I'm gonna, okay, I'm so about I... to say nice things about the movie. Don't catch me on what I didn't Please like. Do. When it's not trying to be movies that I've seen before, it really succeeds in giving the message that kids are going through a lot more than they used to and that adulthood starts very, very early. And I think that that's a really bold message to put into your movie. That I have seen the, I'm gonna tell the popular girl what's what. I mean, I there's think, a whole movie called Mean Girls that talks yeah. about that specifically. Go so ahead. if you like, you guys should see the mo Mean Girls. Yeah, it, the, mean girls, have, the that's, mean girls. The Mean Girls, that one. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Gotcha. But I think what she said to the popular girl was very important uh, because... She's not just saying, hey, Gretchen, piss off. Mm -hmm. She's saying, she's like, to make fetch happen. she's saying, trying to be this person. Uh, I guess that's actually not all but the original. See, but this is actually, what I'm saying. To, to, to Literally, the with you, thing. I think the fact that I think what she said to the girl was so important because she's saying it to her. But I honestly think that she was really saying it to herself. You know, you don't need to be a bitch, basically, to be cool. I think what the trailers really try to sell which is what I was actually curious about the movie, is what it is what it is actually like to be an 8th grader now. And to and be I, fair, none yeah. of us are 8th graders right now. No, exactly. I'm not an 8th Are you an 8th grade? No. Nope. Are you an 8th grade? I haven't been for a while. Uh, neither have I. I don't hate it. I thought it was a really sweet little movie. But I've seen it before. I think it's a very good movie that may be what some people see as just another coming-of-age film, but I think it's maybe one of the only coming-of-age films that hits its message on the nose. And is, I would actually recommend to someone who's in eighth grade, you know, going through the motions of finding out who you are and being okay with that. So I give it two thumbs up and a wink. Because uh, I, I want to be its friend. I like this movie. I appreciated it and I do feel like it did something different because even just thinking back into my head about the movies that you mentioned like Lady Bird like Edge of Seventeen like Lady Bird she gets into fucking where'd she try to get into NYU or Columbia one yeah, of the two something like that. one of the two she gets in she goes to college that's what she wanted the whole time she gets this huge payoff at the end great good for her Edge of Seventeen she ends up getting like a boyfriend at the end of it which was kind of like what she was going through throughout the whole thing like oh great good for you let me tell you something. When I went from eighth grade to to ninth grade, I didn't get any fucking payoffs. There was no right. Nothing big, happened. Big thing nothing at the happened. end of it. Yeah, I was one time in one school, and then the next time I was in another school. It's happy because she allowed herself to be happy, and I liked that. I think we've exhausted it. Yes, um, we have. Thanks for watching. Ride home. Okay. Fuck you too. Stop it, because I'm gonna sign off. Thank you for watching Ride Home Reviews. Uh, like and subscribe for more content like this. Share with your friends. Cause we don't like, get a lot of views. You know, a lot of people have seen it and like that's cool. But mm -hmm. like if you like it, go. This was Ride Home Reviews. Thank you. Gucci. Gucci. <laughs>